All right. Good afternoon. Let's try this again. I apologize. The phone was ringing off the hook. Don't know what that was about. But anyway, so this is the SEO teardown. This is the first episode. And I do not have a, web, a business website that we're going to tear down. But I'll, I'll just go over a, a, a few quick points on on-page SEO. So there's really two, two factors in SEO, and that's on-page and there's off-page SEO. Uh, and on-page SEO is the part that you do on your website. So does that make sense? On your web page, right? So um, I I do offer now a an on-page SEO four-part webinar series that's available on my site, scottgumbar.com. Um, just go there and you can sign up for the webinar. It'll be four parts. It'll start October 4th or October 6th. I don't remember. It's a Thursday. It'll start Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, my time. But there's a few factors that you can look at for on-page SEO. There's, well, I have a, an, a a checklist, actually. If you go to my website, you can also get the checklist. And the checklist includes 12 categories that you should look at. And there's more than that, but there's 12, 12 things I have in the checklist. And that it will keep you very busy for a while. Um, here, I'll show you what the checklist looks like a little bit. Oh, my access is denied for some reason. I'm not going to refresh the browser. I've been having technical issues all, all, all day. So we'll just let it go for now. Anyway, on page SEO is what you do to your website to optimize it for Google, Yahoo, Bing, and other search engines. And the checklist will help you get through everything you need to do. And the first piece of that after, of course, you've identified who your who your ideal client is, um, which is not part of SEO, but it is part of your marketing, and you need to know who they are before you start doing anything else. Um, but the first piece of that would be the keyword research. You need to know what keywords to be found for. And it's not as simple as it, as it sounds. If I'm a plumber, I'm not going to use plumber. If I'm a lawyer, I'm not going to use lawyer or attorney. I'm going to have to use some keyword phrase that helps me determine helps me to rank on the first page of Google because mm, I don't know what the numbers are today. It used to be 98% of all searchers don't go past the first page of Google. I think it's a little bit lower now, but probably still above 90%. You need to rank on the first page of Google. And you're not going to rank for plumber. You're not going to rank for lawyer or attorney with, with one caveat. You could rank in Google Maps if things are things are, are done properly and things are per the perfect storm basically you have to the person searching has to be in the right location you have to have your google my business page set up properly you know and you have to have reviews and so forth if all that is done then yes you could rank in the what's the google three pack which by the way will will soon become the google two pack uh but we'll get to that in another episode um then that could happen. But for the Google organic listings, that's below the ads. We're not going to talk about ads. That's for another day. Below the Google three-pack, soon to be two-pack, you have organic listings. And that's a coveted spot to be on Google search. Now, imagine if you show up on the Google ads, the Google three-pack, and on the first page of search, first page of the organic results. You're winning there, aren't you? Um, and there's there are ways. If you search Scott Gumbar, I think seven or eight of the ten results are me. It's my website, Facebook, LinkedIn, and so forth. Uh, now that's a little easier because I think, as far as I know, there's only two Scott Gumbars in the country. Anyway, so the first piece is keyword research. When you do keyword research, you want to determine what's the best long tail keyword phrase that I can use for my business. And how do I do that? You may have an idea of what that is, but you may be 100% wrong. So don't assume that your keyword phrase is the right keyword phrase. Do some research. And how do you do that research? Well, the first thing you want to do is use some tools that are all at least somewhat freely available on the internet. The one of the biggest tools, one of the most popular tools for this is the Google Keyword Planner. This is an AdWords tool, but you don't need to use AdWords in order to use the tool. So you go to the Google, you just Google, ironically, Google Keyword.
keyword planner and it should be one or two on the results page. And then log in, you'll have to have a, a Google a Google uh, an account a Google account to log in and I'm getting a question here. So why wouldn't I use keyword like Apple iPhone 7 to try to drive traffic to my site? And Mr. Wonderful, that's a good question and thank you for asking that. Yes, you you ultimately could drive traffic to your website that way and at the end of the day, the, the goal is to drive traffic to your website. Um, Apple iPhone 7, I know the announcements came out today and there's been leaks for weeks now. Um, there's probably tons and tons and tons of sites trying to rank for Apple iPhone 7 right now. So you have a lot of competition. Now, does that mean you can't win? No, it doesn't. Uh, if you bought Apple iPhone 7.com, then you have a really good chance of winning. Chances are that's not available. I, I don't know off the top of my head. I would guess it's not available. Either Apple already bought it or somebody jumped on it a long time ago. Um, you might want to start trying Apple iPhone 12 or 13 or something like that. But anyway, so if you create a web page, uh, Mr. Wonderful, why don't you tell me what the site is all about? Is it all about Apple iPhone 7 or is it, do you sell, do you sell um, accessories? Do you sell cell phones? Do you fix them? Uh, I sell iPhone cases. Okay, perfect. So you sell iPhone cases. You want to sell iPhone 7 cases. You should have a URL on your site that says Apple iPhone 7. So let's say your website is mrwonderful.com. So mrwonderful.com slash Apple iPhone 7. And then that'll help drive some traffic. And you may get some search results and people may people may search um, deeper on something like that than the first page, very possible, but you, you're going to have a lot of competition. So you may want to come up with something a little more, um, a little more related to you, relevant to your business. So let's say your website was mrwonderful.com again. So maybe it's Mr. Wonderful's Apple iPhone seven case. And I would venture that Apple iPhone 7 case probably is not as popular as Apple iPhone 7. So here's the, the beauty of using Apple iPhone 7 case. Um, people are still finding your website for Apple iPhone 7. So now you've got two different keyword phrases you're using, but you're only really using one, if that makes sense to you. I would go to, uh, and, and I, you know, in this one, I would use Google Trends. So go to Google Trends and see right now how many searches there are for Apple iPhone 7. If I could do a screen share, I would show you, but for some reason, it's not allowing me to. But I'm going to go to the other tab and do that. So if I go to Google Trends, we're going to search Apple iPhone 7. Well, you know what? The, the story is trending now. iPhone, Apple. Let's do Apple iPhone 7. That was the number one trending, iPhone and Apple. So, yes, it's as expected, it's it's spiked in the last few days. So, August 28th, there was 70, and this is for, this is worldwide, by the way. August 28th, uh, it's not really cooperating with me here. But it's spiked over the last few days considerably. It was a little bit of a spike in late spring, and it spiked again um, in the last few days. Oh, I apologize. I'm reading this wrong. This was three years ago it spiked originally. Now it's spiked again in the last couple months. So July to August, and all of August it's just creeped up up, up until today. Um. So there's a lot of people looking for it right now. You probably do better with Apple iPhone 7 case. Now, I don't know if you sell on eBay or Amazon. Those sites are going to rank higher than you when it comes to those things. So if I if I were to Google that right now, Apple iPhone 7, you know, I'm probably going to get Apple. I'm probably going to get a bunch of news. So the other thing, Apple iPhone 7 case. The other thing to keep in mind is that when there is news items, um, and I'm not... Let me switch to Google here. When there's news items, Google will rank those if there's like if it's a hot news item at the moment. Um, Google ranks those higher than everything else. 
while that's trending. So that's something else to keep in mind. So that will mean that if you were ranked on the first page of Google for Apple iPhone 7, you're going to be temporarily pushed down until the news calms down a little bit. Um, and that is the case right now. Apple unveils iPhone 7 kills headphone jack. I think most of us knew that already. Apple officially unveils iPhone 7. iPhone 7, new Apple Watch unveiled. And more and more and more. Then there's a Twitter account for Apple Oh, I'm sorry. It's not an account. It's a Twitter search for Apple iPhone 7. So Twitter has a deal with Google right now. I don't know if everybody's aware of that. Uh, they have a partnership where Twitter Twitter will index for Google searches. So keep that in mind as well. And then Apple's website, Apple iPhone 7, and then another Apple page, and then the LA Times, and then Engadget. So it's all news sites right now. Engadget, TechCrunch, and ABC News. So you're not going to be able to keep compete with those sites. Those sites are huge. They're monstrous. You won't be able to compete with them. Now, the thing to keep in mind is I'm going to assume you're in e-commerce. Is that correct, Mr. Wonderful? Um, okay. So local isn't going to help you. I would still consider setting up uh, a Google My Business local page because it might help you a little bit, at least locally. I don't know if you have a brick and mortar store or not, but if you do, it'll definitely help. But if you don't, it might help a little bit because at least people in your immediate area will see your stuff come up in Google in the Google three pack. All Shopify. Yeah, you're gonna have a lot of stiff stiff competition. The other thing I would suggest though, Mr. Wonderful, is the news will die down in a few days. Um try writing a blog post. Uh get the get the iPhone seven, try to review it, you know. Tell us, give us, give your opinion about the no headphone jack. I know a lot of people are upset about it, but this was, this was a, a long time in the works. Anyway, you know, I don't even use the headphone jack. I'm, I'm Android by the way, but I don't even use the headphone jack on my phone. I use Bluetooth. Um, you know, write blog post or two, share your information, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram. You know, you have any commerce site selling cell phone cases, make sure you're using Pinterest and Instagram. All those things will help you. Does Amazon have its own SEO within Amazon? Uh, they they do. You mean f within the Amazon infrastructure? Yes, they do. Um, but it also ranks on Google. But, you know, interestingly enough, it did not just now. Let me see the case. What happens if I add case to the search? Again, no need to wait for Apple. Amazon will sell you an iPhone 7 case now. That's the first post that comes up, Mr. Wonderful. The first thing that comes up on Google when I search Apple iPhone 7 case is about Amazon. Now, it's not from Amazon. It's from another site called Recode. So what does that mean? Go and blog about Apple iPhone 7 cases, and um, you might be able to get ranked. Now, again, so this is Recode. I'm not familiar with Recode, so I'm not really sure what their what their site is all about. I'll check that out later. But then the next one is Apple Newsroom. And then it's Twitter. Um, so you have, and, and then it's Amazon. So yes, Amazon shows up. Uh, Amazon shows up at the first organic search result. Everything else is news. Um, and there are images too. So there's another opportunity to rank. Mr. Wonderful is images. If you have images of the cases already, share them on the internet and make sure they're properly tagged. I do talk about that in my on-page SEO webinar, um, tagging your images with alt tags and title tags. So that is that is extremely important, especially if you're an e-commerce site. That is extremely important because it will help your search results. Um, you have some stiff competition, but you know, get out there and blog, share your images all over the all over social media, especially um, Pinterest and Instagram, because those are where they'll um, those are where people go to look for visuals, visual aids. If you're using Amazon, definitely use that to help you um, to help you uh, rank on Google. As I just mentioned, Amazon was the first organic result for iPhone Seven case. You know, I don't know who it is. You know, it could be anybody on Amazon. Uh, o e a g o. They've already got iPhone seven cases. All right. Uh, so I hope that helps you. As far as keyword research, though, you know, you might want to go to the keyword planner, search Apple iPhone seven or Apple iPhone seven case, 
And I don't know if you're international or just uh, United States, but then, you know, you can, you can narrow down where it searches and it'll tell you how many times those things are getting searched. You can check your competition. I'm sure, you know, we all check competition. If you don't, you're, you're failing. Uh, you, you're doing yourself a disservice if you don't check your competition. But check your competition, see what they're ranking for, see what they're doing to help rank. Um, if you are just United States, narrow it down. Or if you're in United States or Canada, I don't know. But if you are, then narrow that down. Use I just use Google Trends, and I told you it spiked over the last few months. Use SpyFu and um, SEM Rush, and search your competition, and you'll see what keywords they get ranked for and how often those show up in the searches. Uh, you also get a, a value to those keywords. So if you do you plan to use AdWords in the future, you'll see what the do- what they suggest the dollar amount would be. And, you know, Mr. Wonderful, that's another opportunity to rank. Again, because it's going to be so competitive, um, it's probably not going to be cheap. But if it's done right, it will it will make you money. Um, but using AdWords will, will definitely help. Using Facebook pixels will help as well. Um, use Google Analytics. See what people are already coming to your site for. Use Word Tracker, wordtracker.com. And uh, also Moz has a Keyword Explorer tool, which is, I believe it's free. I know the Site Explorer is free. I think the Keyword Explorer is also free. Um, so use these tools that I just listed, and that'll help you figure out what, what is going to be the best keyword for you. Uh, you know, th- th- I know there was a big recall on it, but the Note 7 just came out, and I'm sure you probably were selling cases for that. I don't know what, what the latest is on that. But, um, you know, that probably spiked when it first came out, and it probably spiked again when they did the recall. So the, that would be my first first piece of advice. Do some keyword research. Use the tools that I mentioned. Start with Google Keyword Planner and use the other tools, Google Trends, uh, SEMrush, SpyFu, um, uh, Word Tracker, and Moz Keyword Explorer. I mean, oh, and Google Analytics. Yeah, I knew I was missing something. Use those tools. Figure out the best keywords for your site. And then start creating content based on those keywords. All right, so uh, I will I will not be on next week. I know this is the first episode. I'm already missing a week. I will not be on next week because I'm going to be in Cuba next week. So the following week, the 21st, I'll be back on 2 p.m. And I will uh, have a business and will tear down their site. So until then, everybody, I will see you on the other side.